In this lesson, we will learn how to select a web element based on its attribute. And to do that, we want to select our product title right here. You can see we have our product title with the a tag name. So we can just select it using its tag name that is CSS selector and the tag name that is a. Now it will select all of the link elements inside of our website, which may be the case in your situation. But here we don't want that because in our website, we have a lot of link elements. That is this one's, this one's, which is the product title. We want them, but we have other link elements as well. That is this categories right here, which we don't want. If we take a look at their code, you can see they are wrapped inside of a tags. So how can we select our product titles, not this category link items? To do that, let's take a look at both of their code. That is, we have our product titles and inside of that we have a a tag name, which we already know. And then we have a attribute that is href with the link as its value, which is just fine. And then we have another attribute that is title. And the title has a value of that product's title. And if we take a look at this categories right here, you can see they only have the href attribute. So we can see that our product titles, that is the a tags right here, only have the titles, not the other link elements. So using CSS selectors, we can select a web element with the a tag name, that is the link elements, with the title attribute, that is our product titles. So let's go ahead and create that selector. For that, of course, we need the tag name, that is A, and to select A attribute with CSS selectors, we use box brackets like this. That is the tag name, and after that, we want to select its attribute, that's why box brackets like this, because we can select multiple attributes if we want, and here, we want to select the title attribute, so we'll just type out that like this. So, we created a CSS selector in which we selected a web element with the a tag name and the title attribute which is inside of box brackets like this. Now if we go ahead and just get the element and also print that on the terminal so that we can see which what we get. So let's go ahead and run our spider that is scrapey crawl our ebook spider let it run and then we will see that we get our product link element right here that is the a tag with the href and the title as well so that's how we select a web element if it has a certain attribute that is title in this case if we want we can select other attributes as well like the href or even class or id because they are attributes inside of a web element now if we want we can be more specific as well that is select a a element that is a link element with a certain title that is let's say what i want to do is select this product title only so i can just look at its source code you can see a tag href the title attribute and now what i can say that select this title with this value right here so let's copy this value that is sosimon i think i spelled it correctly and then we can just say that select a tag name with the title equals to a value, which will be this right here. Now, if we go ahead and run our scraper again, we'll get only that title. That is, let it run. And now we will see we get that a tag with the title of Sosimon. So if we want to select a web element based on its attribute, we can do that. And if we want, we can be more specific and say that a title or any attribute should have a certain value like this. So that's how we select web elements based on their attributes with CSS selectors.